What's up, guys? Today we're going to learn Stay by Post Malone. This one's a nice, chill song for a late night sesh. So let's learn it. It's got some cool chords. Let's get into it. Quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Guitar Pro. They've got a cool new app that lets you follow along with your favorite songs with tabs below them. It's really cool. Check it out. It supports the channel. Link in the description below. Please go click that so I can make more videos. And with that, let's get into it. All right, there is the part played for the verse. So we're starting off on an F major 7. Play with your first finger there. Second finger on the first fret of the second string, and then third and fourth fingers on the second fret of the D and G string. And you're going to mute this fifth string here by just making this finger lazy. F major 7, and we're going to play this strumming pattern. So this has two parts, starting off with the first part, it's going to sound like this. So that's going to be down, down, up, up, down, 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 a little slower. And this is a pretty dissonant chord, so I find if you play the lower strings with a little bit less weight, so you try and make the emphasis on the higher strings. As opposed to the lower strings, it's a little more pleasant sounding. But you play that, and that's the first part. So the second part sounds like this. It's the same thing as the first part, except with an added da da da. So a little slower, that's. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So you put that in with the first part, and now your strumming pattern all together a little slower is. And then that is the main strumming pattern played in this song, so it's a little bit confusing, but try it out, practice it a little bit, and then you'll have the strumming pattern that we're going to play for most of the song. So we've got that on the F major 7, then we're going to switch to a C major 7 with... C major 7, that's a pretty nice chord. This is a So there's your C major 7, and we're going to do the first half of that strumming pattern on the C major 7. And then we're going to switch, and we're going to switch to an A minor 7 and do the same thing. So you're playing the full thing on the F major 7 and then just that first half on the next two chords. All together. There's a whole strumming pattern. And then we've got this end riff to end off the verse section. E on the third fret to open A, to first fret, to second fret on D, to open D, and then end on third fret of A. So you're just going to add that to the end of your chord progression, and that's the full verse. And there's your entire verse chord progression. Then once you play the verse, the verse is going to end with the same first half of the strumming pattern on F, and then a single strum on F minor. So your verse is going to end like this. And 
that's just that little piece at the end of the verse. So now moving to the next part of the song, the chorus, we're going to do the long strumming pattern, the full version this time, on C major 7, A minor 7, and then D7. So you've already learned the strumming pattern. You're just going to do the full thing on all three of those chords. So that's the full chorus right there. And then just like the verse, the chorus is gonna end with the first half on F major, and then a single strum on F minor. So the end of the chorus will look like this. Alright, if you can play those parts, you can play this entire song. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Subscribe, hit that bell notification if you haven't already to see all my new uploads, and I'll see you in the next video.